Hi everybody. The U.S. military has some of the most advanced killing equipment in the world that allows it to invade almost wherever it likes it will. They produce so much military equipment that inventories eventually start to pile up. And it turns out a lot of these weapons are going straight to American police forces to be used against U.S. citizens. Benjamin Carlson at the Daily reports on a little-known endeavor called the 1033 program that gave more than $500 million of military gear to the U.S. police in 2011 alone. Next year's orders are up 400%. Upswing coincides with an increasingly military like style of law enforcement. Tim Lynch, director of the Cato Institute's Project on Criminal Justice, told the Daily the trend toward militarization was well underway before 911, but it's the federal policy of making surplus military equipment available almost for free that has poured fuel on this fire. From the daily, thanks to it, cops in Cobb County, one of the wealthiest and most educated counties in the U.S., now have amphibious, an amphibious tank. The sheriff proudly acquired a machine gun equipped armored personal carrier that he nicknamed the Peacemaker. Sounds like it's incredible. This comes on top of grants from the Department of Homeland Security that en enable police departments to buy vehicles such as Bearcats, 16,000 pound bulletproof trucks equipped with battering rams, gun ports, tear gas dispensers, and radiation detectors. To date, more than 500 of these tank-like vehicles have been sold by Lenco. It's kind of had a corrupting influence on the culture of policing in America. The dynamic is that you have some officer go to the chief and say, People in the next county have military hardware. If we don't take it, some other city will. Then they acquire the equipment, they create a paramilitary unit, and everything seems fine. But then one or two years pass. They say, look, we've got this equipment, this training, and we haven't been using it. That's where it starts to creep into routine policing. Well, quite frankly, I see this as a very bad sign. And, um, you know, the fact that they're, you know, making it sound as though they've got surplus equipment, to me, sounds like it's rather unbelievable. I mean, they're making it too easy for the police to get these types of uh, killing equipment. And the police don't need it. They're supposed to be protecting people, not going out and using these uh, types of uh, weapons on their own citizens. And that's what's going to happen. Just like in other countries, we've seen these big tanks and vehicles just running people over. And um, they're, you, to see these tanks going down a city street will just cause uh, people to become more terrified and that's what the government likes to do is to terrify their own citizens. This is Traders Beware. I'll post a link to this article below. Thank you for watching this video.